The food industry is facing a wave of opportunity and discovery in Asia. Now, the Asian consumers are actually growing at a rapid pace uh, given the increasing uh, affluence across the various uh, Asian countries. And in SIFBI, we have a special focus of our food innovation centered on the Asian consumers. And while we are centering our food innovation on Asian consumers, it doesn't really just uh, primarily restrict ourselves to the Asian markets, but Asian consumers are actually can be found globally. The food industry has to look at very much at the moment at sustainable, novel food products that are healthy and tasty, that are sustainable and safe. This is very much a demand by consumers. ASTAR is helping companies to provide this type of innovation. We have capabilities in biotechnology, in Asian nutrition, um, also in food processing engineering, and in analytics, and also some capabilities in food safety research. Until now, food industry players have usually focused on just one of the many nutritional technologies available. CIFB, which stands for the Singapore Institute of Food and Biotechnology Innovation, is unique. CIFB brings together technology and experts from various A-star research institutes and industries. It also works closely with other research partners in the food ecosystem. The vision is a connected chain of innovation, a second wave for the food and beverage industry. Here we work in a very collaborative manner in a public-private partnership model and we'd like to work with a whole myriad of uh, enterprises from startups to multinationals to the local enterprises. Food resilience is of paramount importance and we know that existing food supply systems are not sustainable. On top of that, the world population keeps growing so we need alternatives. And the partnership with ASTAR CIFB enables us to create alternatives that excite the consumer. Singapore's food security is a key driver of the government's 30 by 30 vision, as advised by the Singapore Food Agency. The 30 by 30 is our goal to develop the capability and capacity of our agri-food industry to produce 30% of our nutritional needs locally by 2030. It requires us to produce food in a way that is highly productive, climate resilient and resource efficient. Alternative proteins could contribute meaningfully to this 30 by 30 goal. Alternative proteins and sustainably produced foods are the key research focus here. New technologies developed at the lab are scaled up in production, taking food innovations from the lab to the consumer through public and private partnerships. At CIFB's fermentation lab, microbial and fungal strains are grown on feedstocks which can be derived from the upcycling of side stream products. This process can boost and enhance the alternative protein derived from these fermentates. Besides microbial alternative protein, CIFB scientists also develop and improve plant-based alternative protein offerings. The raw materials for plant-based meats can be dry powders that are stored inexpensively for long periods. With bulk alternative protein material at hand, CIFB's food process engineering team conducts research into a variety of alternative meat analog textures via extrusion and other processes. With any type of food that we eat, there are roughly five elements that we consider. Taste, texture, affordability, nutritional content, sustainability. The first two, taste and texture, are non-negotiable. A major challenge for food companies is scaling up from the lab to the marketplace. To accelerate the commercialization of sustainable food products, ASTAR CIFB has partnered with Termasic, a global investment company headquartered in Singapore to establish the Food Tech Innovation Center, or the FTIC. The FTIC offers R&D and scale-up facilities to help companies streamline this transition. Through our Singapore Food Story R&D program, we support research projects in sustainable urban food production, future foods, and food safety science and innovation. We also partner Enterprise Singapore to provide access to shared infrastructure, industry knowledge, and co-innovation platforms. The future of food is well on its way from the lab to our kitchen. Cleaner, greener, and tastier than before.